I knew the moment that we were told that Hellboy, the crooked man, wasn't going to be released in the theaters domestically. It was going to be absolutely trash. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I just watched this film, and despite my low expectations, the film still managed to be a major disappointment. Now, I know many people have problems with the 2019 Hellboy reboot, but at least that film got something right that this film refused to do. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what that is. But first, let me give you guys the synopsis. Hellboy and a rookie PBRD agent find themselves stranded in 1950s rural Appalachia. They soon discover a community of witches led by a local devil who has a connection to Hellboy's past. So that is the synopsis. Now, as far as the beginning of this film, I must say it got off to a good start. We're introduced to that of Hellboy and this rookie who is Bobby Joe Song. And they are traveling with a package. Now, at this moment, you do not know what the package is. So they're trying to escorted to their base right on this train now i don't know exactly what has occurred but the package which is a spider decides to grow in size and it and hellboy fight on this train which is a great action scene i said okay we're off to a good start here but the moment that they get off of that train which is about five minutes into the film it goes downhill from there. I mean, the pacing is off. The visuals, oh my goodness, they're absolutely cheap. Hellboy himself looks like cosplay. It's, it's almost as if the studio just wanted to give you this mix of a Western horror film and it isn't working. You know, Hellboy and this rookie, they, they walk into this I guess town, but it's just one house and he's talking to this woman and all of a sudden this other guy walks up and he tells them about a story about the crooked man and, and so on and so forth. And, and then it just comes to this screeching halt, right? Like 20 minutes into the film, it drags. And I mean, drags. You would be absolutely bored out of your mind if you decide to watch this. You're sitting down and you're just trying to enjoy the film and it's like nothing is happening, right? They're talking and, and not to mention, this film has the nerve to set itself up as chapters, right? Like they find out in the beginning of the film that someone used a witch ball the film will explain it to you if you decide to watch it. And the next thing you know, we get this old school Western kind of title card, the witch ball, you know, and it's like, it just takes you out of the film all of the And I'm like, who idea was this? Who idea was this? There's the, the cinematography just isn't there. The script is all over the place and, and, and not to mention not to mention the color grading here see they're trying to go for this horror aspect but you're not putting enough horror into it now many people believe that this is what hellboy should look like and, and, and what they have to understand here is hellboy the way that del toro introduced him to the world worked because del toro understood that he was making a comic book movie. This does not feel like a comic book movie. That is one important aspect that this film is missing. Even the 2019 Hellboy reboot got that right. It got it right. And not to mention, when it comes down to the whole feel of the film, you do not feel like you're actually watching a horror movie, right? It, you feel like you're watching a suspense film. I know they're kind of the same, but you get what I'm saying? It's like you're watching this and you, you're anticipating this to happen and this to happen. And a lot of stuff just doesn't happen in this film. It's like this idea should not exist here. It is a waste of time. And one of the main things that they get wrong is Hellboy himself. That's right. 2019 got Hellboy right. Del Toro got Hellboy right 
twice. This film, however, he does not feel like that of Hellboy. I'm sorry. Now, many people would say, well, look, this is Hellboy in the comics. But you have to understand, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles also was that of like a horror R-rated comic when it was first introduced to the world, right? But what made them famous was how the studio decided to handle them, right? Make them a little bit more marketable, right? This Hellboy, however, did not get that treatment. This Hellboy, however, is held back by by the the imagination of its creator. Let's just say that because the, the creator of Hellboy wrote the script for this, right? And I feel like he wanted to incorporate what he do in the comic books, right? But we have to understand everything in the comic books do not work in live action, which is why Del Toro got it right and the 2019 Hellboy film got it right. You know what? Let me tell you who directed that 2019 Hellboy movie. Because I don't want to keep just acknowledging Del Toro because I'm familiar with him. You know what I'm saying? The 2019 Hellboy film was directed by Neil Marshall. What has Neil Marshall directed in his career here? Uh, not much. The Reckoning, the Lair, Duchess, Killing Time, Dog Soldiers, The Decent, The Descent, Doomsday. So, Tales of Halloween, he doesn't have that much of experience when it comes down to making this type of film. But I feel like the dude did a good job. Like I said, when you think about how he handled that of Hellboy, he did a wonderful job. At least coming from his background. But... Hellboy 2024 is directed by Brian Taylor. And what has he directed here? Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, Crank. Crank was pretty good. Gamer, Gamer sucked. Jonah Hex. <laughs> oh my goodness. He directed Jonah Hex. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Okay. So this guy doesn't have a lot of vision. Let's just say that. So basically what I'm getting at here is one guy took the character more seriously than the other guy. Right. He understood what he was presenting and this one doesn't. Now over on that of Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, by the way, if I was to grade Hellboy, the Crooked Man, I would give it a 2 out of 10. I, I, you know what? I, I say a 4 out of 10 because they did have some visuals in there that you were like, okay, that's old school, cool, but that is, that's it, that's it, that's it. A 4 out of 10, but it is a terrible film, man. It's a terrible film. All right, on IMBD, they're giving it a 4.7 out of 10. That is absolutely horrible. Rotten Tomatoes, after 19 reviews, I'm sorry, 18 reviews, is 39%. So that's all critics, 7 fresh, 11 rotten. The audience score is giving it a 59%, a 3.2 out of 5 rating. That shouldn't be 59%, to be honest with you. 3.2 out of 5 should at least give you somewhere on the lines of like 61% or so or something like that or whatever. But yeah, man, this 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 was not a good watch. It wasn't, even though I knew that they were not going at it, you know, through the same lens of that of Del Toro and, and Neil, you know, it, this film just doesn't work for me, at least. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people are going to watch this film and say, man, no, this is this is cool. This is cool. And that is okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to call you guys idiots or anything like that. I'm not saying, oh, you're stupid because you like a film. Just remember, the 4K is open to all opinions, baby. If you like the movie, let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit up here and drag you through the mud because you like something that I didn't. You know, that ain't what this channel is about. You know, remember, the O and the 4K stands for opinion. And I love to hear you guys' opinions. <laughs> as long as you're not trolling. You know, your, your boy don't, don't deal with that. But 
yeah, this this is not something that I would recommend to anyone. I don't want nobody to be mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, you told me to watch that movie. No, 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 no. But you're free to do so. <sighs> One of these days, we're going to get back to when Hellboy was great. You know what I'm saying? Like, like somebody's going to take this franchise and, and give us something great like that of Del Toro. And speaking of Del Toro, Maybe they should get him back for another Hellboy film. Now, I don't know if Ron Perman will be up for it, you know, but I'm pretty certain that the last guy, um, David Harbour, would be willing to do it again. I think Del Toro can take him in and replace him with that Orion. Now, nobody is going to be better than that Orion, you know what I'm saying here, but yeah, at least the last guy was good as Hellboy. This guy here, this new guy, Jack Kesey, no. No, 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 no. I do not want to see him in this role ever again. Like, stay far away from this role because it did not work. Oh, it, it, one other thing. They kept trying to show you that Hellboy smokes. I'm like, all right, all right, right, right. I get the point. Stupid ass movie. I'm your boy. O. Hopefully you have watched this movie. I say movie. Watch this video all the way to the end to help your boy out that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. I'm trying to reach that magical number of 10,000 subscribers. So I'll be highly appreciative if you would help me cross over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if y'all going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me out with that algorithm, baby. But in the comments below... If you have seen Hellboy the Crooked Man, tell me what you thought about the film. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Just remember I'm okay with whatever you guys have to say about the film.